What's up guys, Eric Dearing here from Master Filmmaker to share with you my Lumetri color grading workflow inside Premiere. Being able to manually fine tune your color grade is a critical skill to any post-production work. This is gonna be completely from scratch. I'm not using a LUT. I'm doing this all by eye. So let's get started. All right guys, so here we are inside of Premiere. We have our clip right here. I'm gonna drag that in. So we have our clip here. Here's our Lumetri panel. I'm just gonna get started. I'm gonna bring contrast up a little bit, uh, bring highlights down a little bit, shadows, whites up. And this log footage is just super flat, so our goal here is to give it a little bit of character. I don't do too much here, but let's go to curves. I'm gonna take this up, take our shadows down, and then save some of our mid-tones here. Bring that up. So now, as you can see, we have this kind of just natural vignette already going on because of the lighting and the sides of these walls here and how the light's going on there. And then I'm gonna take my hue versus saturation and I'm gonna come up a little bit. She has some purple in her shirt. I want it to pop a little more and some of that gold, some of that white and black there. Let's go back to this panel. And some of the issues I've had with some of this black magic footage actually is the tint. I can never get the tint exactly right. So I do a little bit of correction in post. So there we go, because it's either too green or too purple. So adjust that a little bit. I want it to be a little bit cooler than it is. Bring it down there. Bring down shadows a little bit. And let's see how we're looking here. Okay, super flat. Give it a little more character. Yeah, that's starting to look pretty good. Cool. And now we're going to go back into our curves. Maybe up the mid-tones a little bit. Yeah, we don't want to get too much highlight on their face. See if we go too high, we get a ton of highlight. Maybe just a little bit there. And what I like to do sometimes is I'll go higher up than I really need to and then come back down to a point that I'm comfortable with, whether it be contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, uh, saturation here. So right about 104 looks good. Let's bring this back to full size. Another thing, don't be afraid to use shadows. Sometimes it's nice to embrace those shadows and use them to draw the viewer's eye to a certain part of the frame. And if we look at our scope here, we're looking pretty good as far as where everything's sitting. All right guys, so that's my workflow. Basically, I up my contrast, crushed my highlights, brought my shadows down, brought up my whites a little bit. Uh, didn't really do anything with my blacks, brought up my saturation, and then I went to this curves, really made this S curve here. All right guys, if you found this helpful, I'm coming out with an online course covering all this and more called Master Filmmaker. Uh, I'll have a link down below if you wanna get on our email list and get more free tutorials like this. All right guys, thanks.